Why are Filipino women obsessed with marriage and children? You've got to remember, it's a Catholic country. As such, they want what is sold as the family unit, which is the house, the kids, the husband, and woman looks after the house, guy goes off to work, and they're happy with that business model. Or, sorry, that life model. Um... And personally, I see nothing wrong with it. I know in the West, the people go, oh, well, that's sexist because the, the women can do what they want. Nobody's stopping. There's nobody to be liberated here. Um, it's like my wife. She's a graduate engineer. She can, she can get a good job if she wanted to. She can do whatever she wants. I encourage her to do training courses and stuff. But it's up to my wife what she wants. And I think this is where a lot of things get so blurred in the West because they assume they're liberating somebody from something, but often they don't even bother asking the people they're trying to liberate. It's why you find a lot of the PC stuff is people assume that they know better than the people they're protecting and liberating. And then they start going, oh yeah, well that's a good idea, let's adapt that as well, and we'll keep moving it and making things unequal. Um, because then when you challenge it and say, well that doesn't make any sense, uh, you're then obviously a racist, sexist, or something else. Um, purely because you're challenging it and saying, well this doesn't actually make any sense. Uh, it's a bit like disabled spaces in the UK, I find they've gone bizarre, you know. I go into most multi-story car parks and I find an entire floor uh, or the majority of the, like a shopping centre, I'll find the first two floors are all disabled parking. And then you've got the uh, family uh, car parking. And then by the time you found a space, you're on the roof. Um, the way I look at it is I pay more tax than anybody else. Um, people that have got benefits in some kind, child benefit, etc, etc. I pay for that. I pay it out of my taxes. Um, equality means equality for everybody. As soon as you start sending me to the roof so that this person can park here and this person... You've gone past equality. You're now victimising me for um, driving my own car. I, even if I'm partially funding other people's cars, uh, through disability allowance, through um, like child benefit and all that nonsense, um, working family tax credits, all that sort of stuff. I pay for it out of my taxes. So I'm funding them to have a better standard of living than myself. And I know it sounds trivial, but it's just an example. But you find all that nonsense isn't in the Philippines. People are quite happy to have a normal life. A normal life being without anger that says you must have it, liberate this woman from um, being a housewife to working in an office or something. And then you're going, right, so in the UK, women work in the office and the kids come home to an empty house because the guy's also working because the cost of living is ridiculous. Um, no, thank you. I'll, I'll take the Philippines every time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah.